생생회화 10분 2부 전체 이해력을 높이기 위해 글자 그대로 번역이 아닌 미국인이 실제로 쓰는 표현과 회화 방식을 배우고 우리가 쉽게 활용할 수 있도록 해석했습니다. How much does it cost you to buy paper newspaper per month? I only buy a monthly newspaper, so it doesn't cost much money, around $5 a month. What is the most popular magazine in your country? I think it would be Forbes magazine, a leading source for reliable business news and financial information. With the popularity of Internet, do you think newspapers and magazines will disappear? Yes, unfortunately, it's just a matter of time. How many events have you joined this year? What were they about? I have joined more than 10 events so far, most of which were about education. What was your most memorable event? The most memorable for me was an international study conference in which I was introduced to some famous universities in Europe to study overseas. Was it organized indoors or outdoors? It was an indoor event. Who sponsored the event? The event organizer was the Education Department of American Center, but the universities introduced in the conference were the ones who paid. Who went to the event with you? I went there with my friends, who shared the same interest in studying abroad as me. What were some performances in the event? There were not many performances. Each university representative just had a speech to introduce their school to students and then they hosted Q&A session. Was the event shown on TV? The event was not aired, but there were television advertisements for it. How would someone market an event? Taking advantage of social media is a smart way to promote an event. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, come then. Sure. If I'm in town, I'll call you and let you know. Oh, Miss Wallace, long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. You're right. Thanks. Where are you going? To the supermarket. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. The packages will be heavy. There is a new health store right up the road. Maybe since you guys eat a lot, you should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We have all put on a little weight. Diana! Oh, George. Hi, how are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in 20 minutes. 
Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I missed the bus. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. <gasps> Bless you. Thank you. You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the drugstore. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some? Achoo! I don't know if they sell achu here, but I'll check. When can I see Doctor No? He won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at ten o'clock? Can you make it at nine? I'll check to see if he's available. I'm sorry, but he's tied up until ten o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? Will one o'clock be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Excuse me. May I see your license? I'm afraid I've left it at home. In that case, you'll have to take it to the police station within five days. But. But why? You were speeding, ma'am. But I was only doing seventy-five. There's a seventy-kilometer-hour speed limit on this road, ma'am. Is there? I didn't see a sign. Well, ma'am, we've been following you. So you were doing seventy-five too? No, ma'am. We were doing ninety kilometers an hour, and we couldn't catch you. Waiter, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it all on one bill? No, we'd prefer separate checks. Your bill's eighteen dollars. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, ma'am. This is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It's twenty-four dollars and sixteen cents. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, please. Where to? To Toronto. When? This Saturday. Morning or afternoon? In the afternoon, about three o'clock. There's one at three twenty. Thank you. That sounds perfect. I'll take it. Ever traveled abroad? If yes, what country was it? Yes, I have. I traveled to the USA last year with my family. Where is that country located? The USA is located in North America. What is it famous for? The USA is known for its cultural achievements and landmarks. What are the special food and drinks of that country? There are many. They are known for fast food. Dairy and many beverages. What do you like about that country? I like the fast pace of life and the various subcultures. How many citizens are there in that country? The current population of the United States of America was over 324 million in 2016, which accounts for 4.3 percent of the total world population. What language do people there speak? The national language is English, but many people also speak Spanish, French, German, and Chinese. Do you want to go back there again? Sure. Why do people like to travel abroad? They just want to discover new places, learn new cultures, and maybe speak new languages. On what occasions do people in your country celebrate parties? There are many occasions when people throw parties, such as New Year's Eve, wedding engagements, family reunions.
birthdays, etc. But sometimes people hold parties just when they meet up and want to have something fun to do.